Right, so a pleasant day to every one of you guys and I'm really sorry for the last time no I think um, there was some uh, technical glitch because um, I wasn't able to enter the uh, classroom using the Google link that we used last time so I'll just generate a new one for uh, our next lecture no? and I really do apologize for the inconvenience so okay so for today uh, we're having our recorded lecture since um, I have to attend to some urgent matters no, for this week and I will also be um, at, uh, I will also be posting the follow-up activity after this lecture right so please take note while you are watching uh, this lecture all right okay okay so so this is the central question for um, this course no um, it's really more about uh, finding out understanding exploring the aspects of ourselves so who am I so it's really uh, it might seem a simple question no? but on uh, another perspective this is really a deeper kind of question no? you can say nga, you might answer nga, you're this this is this kind of information but really who are you who am I you know, so um, it may help if you bear this question in mind no while we are having our lectures in this class and um, you might ask, you know, why do we have to study this lecture, this uh, course, sir? Um, how is it relevant, no, someone studies? So, um, uh, this course, no, can uh, help you gain skills or knowledge uh, to help you improve on your life, life skills, no, and to help you learn more about how you can improve yourself know how you can cope with the stress how you can better manage your time no so we will cover those kind of topics no later on oh sorry so okay so we'll start with the story of miss Jeannie Wiley uh, she's the feral child no she's a feral child so um, her story is her, I mean, her case now is really um, a hotly debated topic among the scientists now. Is it really the nature that influences ourselves or the formation of ourselves? Or is it really our own biological process, our own heredity, genetics? No? So those kind of questions were, you know, those kinds of hypotheses were raised when they found uh, when they found out about the case of Miss Jeannie. So Miss Jeannie was um, a 13-year-old child who was rescued no from her abusive father as well as from her pe uh, mother no. Um, when they uh, when they rescued her, they found out that she was she, there was something odd or odd or something strange about the way she moves. Because her posture is more like that of a bunny, you know, gating. She doesn't, she doesn't have any proper, you know, walking movements. You no, know. she cannot utter any, um, any words or sh any coherent sentences. You no, know. she's not able to communicate, and um, she's unable to control her bowel movements. Uh, the way she urinates, you no. Know. So it was found out that she was isolated, uh, isolated in a confined room. Um, that room was, you know, covered so that she was unable to see anything from outside. She was confined there and she was strapped in a potty chair and she only had her father to interact with her and it's not really interacting no because her father her abusive father would only like growl at her if she ever misbehaves her father doesn't allow her mother or brother to interact with her at all no even their neighbors were not aware that uh, she exists 
until it was her mother who accidentally went to a social services no it's like mirabitog the SWD sa to ang sa to sa Philippines no and that's why um they were uh, she was rescued from her home no and uh, she was adopted by um, some persons from the social services she was taken into custody by the state and there were um, psychologists therapists who took care of her of her um, her case no and they tried to provide her with rehabilitation no but as you will see later on in the video no um there was also some issue with with her no so it didn't really it wasn't really a happy ending no at all and also no uh, another case where you can really uh, see the influence of the environment sa to ang self no is when you have the case of twins Twi uh, these were twins who met I mean, who were separated, no, at birth and were raised in two different um, environments, no. So they have separate experiences. They have separate parents. They were raised in a different kind of home, but somehow, no, uh, some way, um, uh, they later on uh, found each other. They later on met and reunited. And as you can see, you know, um, some of their preferences were somehow um, the same, you no. Know? So it really makes you wonder, you know, uh, even though they were raised apart, um, what, 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 what are those factors, you know, that influence how, uh, what are those factors that somehow influence their preferences, you no? Know? So there's that. So the objectives, you no, know, for this uh, lesson for today, um, we will be did, um, determining some of the different factors that contributes to the self or to the contribute to one's being um, will be uh, evaluating the impact of this uh, factors through self appraisal how these factors no influence our self and we'll also be synthesizing the influence of the factors not of the self so um, scientists have been debating you no know, whether um, it's is it really nature or nurture, nurture that influences um, our, the formation or the development of ourself there are those scientists who try to explain that ourselves is largely uh, determined no, by uh, biological process heredity genetics no um, some of you may have heard or encountered someone said to you that uh, liwat kay kasi mong mama no, liwat kay kasi mong papa or parehas sud mo kinaiya no. So there's that no. So there's that uh, kind of argument. I'll be adjusting my cam. Okay. All right. So there's the other um there's also other side or other perspective no that that, that debates that uh, the self is actually the outcome. Um outcome of various um, nurturing factors in the context of one's life so you have here the social influence no or the social factor uh, which I would later on discuss um, this could be your family friends peers no that it is your social environment that helps shape who you really are no so we will later on find out uh we'll later on discover how these uh two things actually intertwine or relate to each other when it comes to influencing the formation or the development of the cell so um there is no need for you to worry um nah, i'm going too fast guys now so you can always replay this video anytime if you don't uh, uh, if you don't if you're somehow confused no okay so let's discuss the difference between identity or the self no? so identity uh, identity it's more on what you have that distinguishes you from your from uh, another person no and the self it's more on the entirety or 
the person that someone or normally or truly is the entirety of the character characteristics qualities of a person so your identity no could be your physical attributes your dominant trait no it sets you apart from one person or other persons so i think it's best best uh, visualize with this uh, kind of picture you not know, that um there is an encircling identity on yourself um just picture a um a durian fruit uh it it's it's distinguished with it by its spiky uh skin outer skin no but you know uh deep inside it is a soft fleshy part no so other person uh, other person might describe themselves no as um kanang kanabitong kuan kanang strict to kayo ko kanang murabitog cold kay siya on the outside but deep inside baya deep inside kay he or she would describe yang ko galingon as kanang some sort of compassionate or warm kind of person or kind no ngana Okay, so um, here is the first uh, dimension of ourselves. That's the social factors. Uh, that's the agent of one's being. It influences. It's the influences of significant people in one's life. It's the strong foundation of uh, one's being and a nursery of human nature. So all of us are. Uh, all of us know know that uh, we cannot live on our own. We are heavily wired inherently wired to interact or socialize with others no no man is an island ikanga no so uh, this a uh, social factor this could be your family no your family your peer groups or your friends uh for those who are who are in who are employed no it could be their co-worker or of course no their neighbors um the people around them the people they are with constantly and you also have uh the personality no so um this is largely the outcome of uh how your social f or how your social environment uh shapes you or um this is um this is a unique set of an individual's pattern of thinking, feeling, behaving, no? This is the outcome of how your social environment affects you, no? One may share common one may share commonalities with other people but still possess an identity that sets him or her apart. So there's you no know, there's that kind of saying no nga um tell me who your friends are and i'll tell you who you are so the somewhat the kind of company that we keep will also influence us somehow affect us who we are no later on siguro um if you are with a bad company you know, who are into doing you know illegal bad things most likely you no know, it would influence you and you would be more or most inclined to doing bad things as well also no there's always that feeling of i there's always we all have this kind of sense of belonging or sense of acceptance in us no we wanted to be accepted we wanted to be loved by everyone around us no so there's that no so those um those individuals who have been you know raised in um different you know family situations or less than perfect um, family families no that could also be a factor that will influence them later on in their life no some are able to come out as a better kind of person some not really well no some might end up doing bad things later on no so there that's really that's really that imp 
really impacts no the way a person is formed or the person self is formed rather so we have here no uh twins separated at birth so they have um they married a woman named Linda they divorced and married a woman named Betty suffered this kind of um headaches smoked a certain cigar and drove a, car, a certain um certain car and had you know had the uh, same names for their son no? can you imagine that so both of you were raised in different environments and yet no you still have the same preferences the same um behavior to some extent no and you also have no another twins so both of them are fast eaters they have some problems when it comes to math and have some personal preferences in hygiene no? okay so another environment no way this self is the environmental factor so these are the physical communal elements uh, that forms our self and it's more more concentrated in a specific area place or region no so that could be um in in a metropolis metropolis or in a city or it could be in the rural side no so maybe someone from the uh, rural side they are more close knit they are more sociable socially connected you know when it comes to their neighbors because uh, some communities are really you know close knit or together some of them i mean i have some relatives you know in the province uh, they you know they have this one kind of area a uh, certain compound where they reside you know I think some of you may also have that one as well and also you have other persons who are who have been living in this city um you know um some of these persons may you know tend to become wary of or cautious about their environment due to the fact that um, they they are aware that um some mugging or kidnapping or you know hold up good um, crime is very rampant no, in their area so they have to be very careful or cautious so that could also um, affect how how yourself is formed or developed no and of course now we have here the heredity factor and person volition factor so the heredity factor it's more on what you inherit from your parents no and some of you may be predisposed to some kind of you know illness certain kind of illness that that was in uh, that's in your parents no like for example your mother or father could uh, be experiencing this kind of illness and uh, there's more chance that that will be passed on to you no so heredity the, this heredity factor is determined by heredity no of course uh, it's the biological process by which um, certain traits and characteristics are passed from one generation to another. And you also have here, you know, the person volition factor. This is a least known kind of factor that uh, forms yourself. It's the inclination of a person to form and construct a specific identity that will set him apart from others. So these kind of persons might be, you know, mga radicalists, re revolutionary, discoverers, or inventors. Think of um, Muhammad Gandhi, no? um, the way he advocated for nonviolent protests in India just to reform the kind of government that they have. No? So that's one, yeah. Not everyone have that kind of you know motivating factor to you know in enact some changes in their society so this is not really not everyone has this kind of, of kind of you know factor right so we have here you not know, the mri scans of human brain so as you can see you no know, as this 
as the year progresses, you can see that there's a enlargement of the brain. No? So the brain is really developing as you grow old. So you can also see uh, below that is the brain of a three-year-old child. Ah. You can see that the on the right side, no, the brain, a person who experiences extreme neglect, um, their brain tends to be much smaller than those other children of their uh, own age who are in the same age who didn't have any uh, experience of abuse or neglect. No? So you can really see a mergnag shrink or gigamagudi ham brain. So somehow, no, I, I think this already answers their debate of nature versus na nurture. No? The nurture, the kind of environment or situation that you're, you're currently in somehow affects um, the development no, of you, especially your biological, uh, the bio biological process. No? For example, ang yang development si ang brain. No? So, in that instance, ang katong kang Miss Jeannie Wiley, no, uh, there's uh, the part of her brain that's responsible for language. No, It didn't uh, really develop fully because she didn't have any stimulation communication from the outside no she only had scars sparse communication with her father and it's really not uh, a normal kind of communication but no so um that must really be a tragic thing for her no so i will be um showing you guys the video of miss jenny wiley and Okay, for a while, ha. I think I prepared a video today. So let me just um. Okay, so I hope this video is clear lang sa inyo, ha, guys. So let's watch this video lang.
All right, so that's it. No, uh, that ends our lecture for this lesson. And if you are unable to play it, ba? Um, you can search for this video. The video is titled Genie Wiley TLC Documentary. So that will uh, that will appear on the search results. No. If you ever have any issues with the video, like the audio or the video itself, no. All right, so um, I think that's it. Um, we're already done with our very lecture, so um, I will be posting the uh, activity you now on the LMS. And I hope everyone uh, to have a good day with you guys. And uh, once again, no. Um, I'll just remind you that uh, ang class is on Friday, Saturday, and the Friday is for the sync class, and the Saturday is async, no? So let's just follow and adhere to that kind of schedule, no? Sige, so thank you.